Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I believe it is now about that time to start another rendition. You know how we do it here, baby. We are here today talking about the platinum and the premium, premium modules, baby. If you made it to Thursday and you still here with me, that's quite an accomplishment. I'm going to go and give you a heads up and uh, tell you a great job. So today we're going to continue our uh, discussions around uh, the PropStream software. Hopefully everybody got signed up uh, from last week. If you didn't get signed up uh, from last week, you need to let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and get this party started. Ground rules, everybody knows them. We don't have to repeat them. So today what I'm going to do is we'll look at our homework, see how everybody did on the homework over on my property on uh, 613 Northwest 140th. We're going to go to the prop stream, do a little bit more deep dive. Uh, if we have time, I want to uh, just introduce you to the Mojo Dollar, and uh, then we'll do Q&A. Ah, and then we got to have some more homework, but we need some practice. I think we're going to need some practice. So let's go to the spreadsheet here, baby. See what we look like this time. Put on spreadsheet. All right, y'all see the spreadsheet there? Thanks again, Darren, for the outstanding job putting together the spreadsheet. So here's what we look like. Uh, the green means that you're close to Mr. Ray. I came in with an ARB at 174. 112 a square foot and about 90 MAO. So if you're in the green, you were close to me. If you're in the yellow uh, or the oranges, uh, you were still close. Tiffany, I don't know how your price per square foot, Darren may have put that in wrong. It looks a little bit high, so it may not be the right one. Or maybe it is. Did you, did you check yours and see? Yes, I'll check it. All right, I'm not hearing you guys. All right, talk again. Let me hear somebody talk again. I'm not I'm not hearing anything. Somebody scream. Hey, can you hear? I think you can hear us. Yeah, I can hear you now. Good. All right. So uh, any questions? Yeah, you gonna show yours, Ray? Yeah, I am. Okay. Go. Big Ray right here. So here's here's what I use. I use 605. One four five oh five. Twenty thirty three Oxford and then Oakmont. Any questions? Hmm, okay. Questions, concerns? I don't know how my MAO, this is Brett, how my MAO is so high, and I don't have my paperwork in front of me because, yeah. Uh, Brett, let's see. Yeah, and like I said, and Rock's. Rock, yours was out there too. I don't know if you just got the wrong house or what. No, I just I don't know because I went with three bit. I went with I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and look at this stuff because I was really into this. Yeah, you were. I don't know. I don't know what house you may have been on another block or something. Uh, something. I was trying to get you some more money. I see two forty nine. I'll take it, but I don't think we're gonna get it over here. Let's hey see. Ray, this is Polly. Hey Polly. Do you not want your square footage in the same ballpark as the, the subject home? Yeah, let's see here. My subject home was uh, 1500 All right? In which we think that's wrong, right? So I think that house is more like 1,600 square feet. So there, oh, okay. wasn't anything, there wasn't anything over there that was 1,500. Okay. And so sometimes you got to 
again, when I showed you guys, uh, guys and girls, that video, it's obvious to me it's bigger than that. So, uh, yeah. So we do look at that. You're right. All the square footages were a lot higher because all those homes were they were bigger, which tells me this house is bigger than 1,500 square feet. Because everything in that neighborhood is uh, 1,600 or better. Gotcha. So I can see how that could have thrown you off a little bit, Polly. Yeah, I'll put 1,500 for the subject, but I'll go back and take a look at that. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, because, okay, I'm looking at this, and I do have 613 Northwest 140, so... But so when what are I, you? What are you? Where were your comps? And uh, all right, I was using two thirty one, which was on sixteen three hundred five Iron Tree, two hundred thirty one thousand. I also and what was the dimensions on it? Three beds. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I did everything on three two, and it was sixteen oh three in square feet. Okay, and it was how much sales price? Two thirty one. Okay, go to the next one. And I think this is where I had this one. This was, was 249, but it was still the same square feet. It was sold like three months ago. Was and it, it was in the same area? 16121 Iron Tree. So it's got to be close to the same house. Okay. Yeah, so that's, I just have to go back and revisit. Okay. Yeah, because everybody else was a little bit closer. So it might just be something just throwing it off. You never know. Why so Ray, what are, what are we saying? So what's what's our max radius? Three miles, six miles, ten. So you start off with a mile. If you don't find anything within a mile, you go out to three. If you don't find anything within three, you go out to five. So you want to stay as close as you can, but you have to extend out if you don't find anything. All right. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? So, so next week we got a good one because uh, we're going to use one of my current properties and I just had it appraised two days ago. So I want to see how close you all get and you'll see how close I got to the appraise on the, the homework that we're going to do next week. So I actually had an appraiser out there. He gave me an appraisal. So we're going to see how close we're getting to that. But I actually believe this house right here, uh, me and David was talking earlier today, there was a house that sold down the street, uh, I believe it was 633 Northwest 140. It sold for 299, excuse me, 199. So it sold for close to 200,000 and, and right down the street. So uh, the values are going up over there. I believe 170 to 180 is legitimate uh, for this house in that area. Um, so if you're close to that, if you were 10, 10,000 within that, gave you a green, if you're a little bit out of it, I gave you, let, uh, gave you a little bit different color. If you wasn't close, I didn't give you much credit at all. All right, Mr. ladies Ray. and gentlemen. Yes. Hello. Yes. I would just like to say that I did use 1500 square feet, but if I had used the 1544, I would have been at 165. This is Lila. So, so, so Lila, what do you want? I want to be in the green, please. Thank you. you. Yeah, let me put you. Who else wants to be in the green? We're just going to give away some green. Anybody else want to be in the green? Well, since you, since you feel, since you're feeling friendly. <laughs> mark, 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 mark it all green. I ain't, changing, <laughs> I ain't changing none of it. All right. <laughs> I want the spendable green. <laughs> you want the real green, huh? <laughs> All right. So uh, real quick, we'll talk about, uh, we already talked about this with the platinum and the premium. We lost a couple more people uh, last week. So right now we have uh, what I'm calling the Elite Eight. The Elite Eight are now part of the platinum. These are the only eight that's left for the platinum that are part of the uh, SMG team uh, that's going to be moving forward, making that money. And we still have uh, the prep, the premier over here that's going to be hanging around with us. It's still going to be learning as we go, but they're not going to be 
uh, participating in the money part of it, but they're going to be hanging along uh, to learn everything that you're learning on the platinum side. So congratulations hey, again to the Elite Eight. Hey, Mr. Ray. Yeah. Uh, do you Are you okay with me sending uh, Chris the information? He said he didn't get it. He didn't get what information? For this meeting. Chris Royal, Elite Eight. Oh, Chris, I didn't send it to Kristen. I can send it to him right now. Oh, I'm sorry. He he was here texting me, wasn't he? My I, bad. Oh, boy, I am so. You guys are going to have to, guys and girls are going to have to remind me. If you don't get something within an hour of this meeting, uh, then you need to uh, let me know. Okay. Did you send it to him? I'm asking you. permission. Um, hold on, I'll send it to him. Don't worry about it. I got him right here. Sorry about that, Chris. Did he make the lead eight? And this parade didn't even include him. Tell you what, I am getting senile, old, and graying out. So y'all got to help me out now. I had a senior moment, and uh, I'm allowed to have that. When you turn 62 and you are collecting Social Security, baby, then you can you can mess up a couple times, and people are gonna be all right with it. All right, he's in. Sorry about that, Kristen. Welcome, Kristen, to the movie, <laughs> to the movie, baby. I'm sorry about that, man. I really. Next time you don't get something from me within an hour of the meeting, uh, then you need to let me know. Now I'm not just kicking people off and not sending you the meeting without. If, I will talk to you first. If I decide this deal is not for you, I will talk to you. I just will not not send you the the invite. So. If you're on the team, baby, just make sure I get that out to you. All right, let's see, where are we going now? Let's go to, let's go to prop stream, baby. Let's go out here, extend the session a little bit. So uh, did everybody get a chance to go out and play a little bit? Play around a little bit with prop stream? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep, sure did. So, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's see. Let I'm gonna show. I'm gonna build. I'm, I'm gonna Lila. I'm getting some feedback. Turn yours down a little bit. So, uh, I'm gonna start a brand new search. I'm gonna show you how to build a search. We're gonna take that search all the way through. I'm gonna show you how I uh, I go through and do the skip trace. And when we get the skip trace back, I'm gonna show you how I get the file prepared to send it over to the DAO, okay? So uh, let's start from scratch. So whenever you start, I always start uh, from scratch, clear out everything, okay? So uh, first thing you wanna do is, uh, let's go to the, the city that you wanna be in, right? So we're gonna stay in Oklahoma City. And then it automatically brings up all these uh, all these searches right here already. So you got all the high equity, the auctions, foreclosures, etc. So now what you want to do is pare that down, right? And so uh, first thing we want to do is say, okay, what kind of search is it that we want that we want to look for? So um, in this instance, so I've been playing with this a little bit. So I I'm trying to find. Uh, properties that I'm getting ready for the June uh, Oklahoma County tax sale, right? So I, I want to find properties uh, that are going to be coming up for sale in June. So let's let's start with liens and see if I can if I can get there from here. So um, occupied, I want to I want properties that are not occupied. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave it any right now. It can be occupied or not. Um, let's go with property characteristics. I want only residential. Okay, 
that pared it down now to 1,400. Let's go over here. I only want a single family. I brought it down another hundred. Okay, I got to get down to a smaller list than that. So let's go MLS status. I want to make sure uh, that they're not on the market. So I'm going to click. I don't want them on the market. So that didn't take very many of them all. Let me see. Let's go to uh, foreclosure information. I want, um, so I want ones that are in default, auctions. See, now I'm getting down, I only got 56 over here. I mean, let's take that less pendants off, see what that do. That's too many. So we got auctions. Let's leave it right there. That looks good right there. And then see ownership. And ownership, I want them to have owned it at least, let's say a minimum of five years. See what that does. So we're down to 35 over here. Uh, owner type, I don't want any corporate. So I'm just going to say, I just want the ones with individuals. So we still got 35. Uh, let's see, liens and bankruptcy. Let's see what that folder's got. Right now, I want, uh, remember I said I want to look for tax liens. So let's see if it would do tax liens. See, that's only six. Uh, so let's see. Let's, so I know there's more than that out there. So I'll, let me take that back off. I know that the tax lien list is going to be thousands. So I still haven't figured out exactly how to get that list down yet, but we're going to keep playing with it. Let's go down. I want them to have some equity, right? So uh, I'm thinking minimum equity, at least uh, 20,000. See what that looks like. So those all 33 of these properties at least got $20,000 equity. See the last one, mortgage info. I really want the ones with, uh, see, that ain't going to work. See, with one mortgage, 22. Let's go with that. So let's close this. So now, Let's say I want to save this search, right? So I got 22 right here uh, that's in that file. And I'll look through. Let's just look at the first one and see what it looks like. So this one has uh, only has 38,000 in equity. So I probably would mark that one off the list, okay? Let's look at this one. 50,000 equity. I might stay with that one. And this one's got 50,000. See, pre foreclosure. It's going to be up. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's, just, it's just about playing with it and getting the right types of property in here. So the ones you want to decide that you want to do something with. So let's just assume I got these 20 properties right here. I'm going to save this list. So first of all, I'm going to name it. So this is a, a tax lien list, uh, OKC. And so I did it today, 3, 11, 21, all right? And so I want to save this. So I got it saved. I want to go over here in my properties. Da, 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 da. Hold on. And I want to, let's say now I want to skip trace those properties. Okay. So uh, let's go back. So over here, you have skip tracing campaigns and you have a, have a menu over here. So I want to skip trace some properties, those, those that I just selected. So I'm going to go back and find my group. 
Um, I got too many of them out here. Hold on. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Hold on. So this is my properties. I already saved them. Right? Oh no. It's already saved. So it should be over here in my properties. What I where'd it go? I lost it. Three uh, three eleven is not in here. What am I doing wrong, somebody? Let's go back out here to my search. We know it's here because it's still right here. Here it is right here. So I still got it. I got it saved. Let me see all searches right here. So here it is right here. I'm sorry. Here it is right there. So that's my list. Now I want to save it. What am I doing? I, I did this earlier today. This is all my save. Hold on, let's let's do this. Let's add it. What did I name that? Oh, let me go back. There we go. I didn't add it. So let's go back over here. And search. What was my name? Anybody remember my name? Three left. Tax lien. Tax lien. Mm-hmm. What today's date? Tax lien three eleven. Okay. So I got that. Save that. Back over here. Now I'm going to say, I want to add it to my favorites. So we'll say tax. It should have came up. Let's see if I can add it to my marketing list. No. Nope. I've done something wrong, terribly wrong here, and I can't find it. And it's still here because we know I've got it right here. Let me see if it'll let me save it somewhere else. Let me see if I can include on home stream, see if that makes a difference. You want to replace MLS, tax lien? Good, I'm not sure I want to do that. But we saved it. Let's take that off. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe use a different drop down where you've got MLS when you try to save it. It didn't have an. See, I've got it saved. I've got to get it right here in my properties. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's say a new campaign. Now, Okay, Go right. Back to all search. Hold on, hold on. Let me. I think I. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Who? What'd you say? Who said Go that? back to all search. Okay. All right. So I got it right there. I know I got them. I'm, I'm just trying now. I've got to get it into my uh, favorites. It won't let me. Hold on. Let's do this. Here we go. Click that. Now add to list. Um, I am such an idiot. So You're let's welcome. Go back. So you have to highlight it here, and then you got to add it to your list over here. Okay. And so it should be in here now. Um, hold up. Let's do this. Add to list. Let's create a new list then. 
Let's create a new list. There it is right there, right? That's the one I just did. So let me back up so we can so I can show you how I did that again. So we got it saved as a search there, right? We already saved it there. Got to hop. If this is not highlighted, you got to highlight this. Then you got to add it to the list here. And then you got to say you want to add it to the marketing list. And here, we're going to create a new marketing list. And that's our list right there. So we save it there. All right. So now it's saved. 22 properties saved to that list. Now I can go over here. Now it ought to be there. All right. To my marketing list. There it is right there. So there's my list. That's all those properties. All right. Everybody with me? Do I need to go back through that? Walk through that again? Let's go back again. All right. So uh, now, until I do clear that search, that search is going. That search that I have up is going to stay there. All right. So I can always go back to the filter. Let's say if I wanted to take something out, I could take it all here. Let's say I wanted to take out liens. Take that out, and then it would adjust it over here. All right. So let's close it again. So now I've got it saved. I got my search saved. Now I want to add it to a list over here so I can do something with it. So I have to highlight it here, add it to the list, right? Create a new list. I mean, add it, add it to my marketing list. And it should be in my list when I fall down here. So I saved it. Now I can go over here. Now I can look at my marketing list right here. Scroll down and there's that list. 370, right? Everybody with me? Can we walk back through that again? Question? With me? with you but i have a question because when you think about it, this list may not be manageable so will you take more out how do you, how would you go from there well this list is manageable for me now because i'm saying it was in the thousands now it's down to 300 and so let's say okay i think i can do uh let's say i want to do 300 mailing so let's say i want to i want to uh email these let's go to a new let's just say uh I'm not gonna call yet, because if I was gonna do skip tracing, I'd go here. Let's just say I wanna do a postcard campaign. So you gotta select all of these, or I could just select uh, a few of them that I want. Like, let's say I just wanna select the top 20 and do that. But in this case, I'm gonna select them all. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do a new campaign. I wanna do a postcard campaign, okay? So then it says, okay, what, what size do you want, right? Do you want, five by five, which is the big ones, or you just want the four uh, and a half by six, which is just your regular postcards. And then it would say, okay, well then what type of postcard do you want to send this 370 recipient? And I could go down through there and I could pick one. All right, so let's just pick one. So it's loading uh, all of my information on all 370 of those. And so this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have uh, their name right here. As you can see, it's got uh, Mr. Ray up there at the top. Now, if I wanted to print and mail these, I could, or I could save and say, I wanna come back. Or I can do it, let's just look at print preview, see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. Doesn't have uh, the names on it or anything, but it's, it just says, is your home underwater? We can help you. Then it has my number right there, All right? So let's say I was ready to print and to mail these. So I'm not gonna actually do it, but I'm gonna show you till we get to the end. Let's say I wanna use this one, yes. 
save that. And so it tell me if I wanted to send, uh, if I wanted to send a card to each one of these, it cost me $196. So it gives me a chance. It's 53 cents for each one of those that I want to send. And I'm not going to send it, but I just wanted to show you how you can send those, right? All right, so let's go back. Any questions on that? All right, so let's go back again. Let's get my list. This is my list. And I want to, let's say I want to uh, skip trace this list. So I'm going to say my actions uh, are, I'm going to skip trace. It's going to say you got 370 contacts here that you're going to skip trace at 12 cents a piece. Okay. I'll say, okay, I, I can skip trace those. And I will go next and say, okay, it's going to cost you $44 to skip trace. And what the skip trace is going to give me, it's going to give me all the phone numbers, all the emails, and uh, all the contact uh, for those 307. Brittany, you need to turn your uh, turn your microphone off. Okay. Any questions? We're not going to place the order, um, but that test kind of give you what it's going to look like. Okay. And I'm going to do some of these live. I'm just uh, I'm, I'm not going to do a live one today, but I'm going to do one live for you. Where I'm going to show you what well, we're going to do a skip trace. We're going to get the numbers back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in an Excel file. We're going to put them over in the Mojo Dollar, and I'm going to show you how the Mojo Dollar is going to uh, dial those numbers for us. Not going to, don't have time to do that today, but I'm really just trying to get you comfortable with, uh, with, uh, with the prop stream. So what we're going to do, part of the homework assignment is, is you're going to have to go in and create a list, right? So let's just go ahead and clear out, start. Start again, go back to my search. I want to clear everything out. So I want everybody to pay attention now because this is going to be part of your homework assignment. So wherever you live, let's just say Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida. This, this, this is where this is where Larry would be. So I want Larry, I want you to create. Uh, I want you to go in, into uh, a search. And uh, I want you to go from the quick list, and I want you to pick one of these uh, choices and create uh, create a list. Let's say you want to do an auction. I want to know the auction. So Larry might say, "Okay, I'm going to do auctions." I want you to also always make sure that you're only doing residential, uh, that you're only doing single-family homes, right? Because that's all we're going to be looking at buying. I want to make sure that they're not on uh, the market. So we're also going to make sure they're not on the MLS. You see, now he's got a nice little uh, set of properties here, only 88, right? And our filters right now are only auctions, residential, single family, and they're not on the market. So these are all off the market deals. So let's look at the first one. So this one is, a, is not bad. It looks like uh, it's got 83,000 in equity. Let's look at the pre-foreclosure. So we know there's an unpaid balance uh, of 140 on this property, right? So just, just some information there. So Larry Wood, okay, so Mr. Ray, I got this. I got it down to 88. I wanna save this. So he will come over, save it, Pick a name, right? Uh oh, what had happened? Huh. That was that was not good. Took me all the way out. All right, so uh, any questions on that? So again, you pick. You can pick your hometown. Uh, let's see, uh, Oklahoma City again. Let's go to Oklahoma. All right, pick your filter. Pick any of these filters. 
cash by high equity, bankruptcy, just pick one. And then I want you to make sure all you got to do is uh, make sure the property characteristics, make sure it's only residential, make sure that it's only single family. All right. And then make sure that it's uh, not on the MLS. All right. I'm Ray. Yeah. Why, uh, just out of curiosity, why does that matter if it's on the MLS or not? Why we want to, we can't, we can't deal with people that's on the MLS. They trying to sell it and they trying to get commission. Oh, okay. we only deal, we only dealing with people we can work with directly. We, we're not working with people that's already got a real estate agent. That's the whole game here. The whole game is you're dealing directly uh, with them. See, you can see these right here. These were on the MLS, but they failed, right? So at one point they were on the MLS, they, they expired. And, and you'll see some of these like this one says recently sold. So we'll probably pull this one off too. When we get to looking at it before we would send anything to them. So we'd look and see uh, when was the last sale. Let's look at the uh, transaction history. Uh, don't see. This one doesn't have an. Ex it said it. It said it was recently sold. Didn't it? Let's look here again. Yeah, recently sold right here. Oh, it was sold. Here's the sold date right here. So this one was just sold. So we would, we would take it off, right? We we wouldn't be interested in it. Any other questions? So these are sold also too. So this might not be a good filter for us to use again, just giving you some ideas. So what we would, one of the other things we might do is to say, you know, it's not on the market. Um, you don't really have anything else to see failed. So Ray, yeah. so yeah. are those saying that they were recently sold and already on the auction? No, let's look at one. It says recently so. Let's look at this one. So this one's, you can see length of ownership. They've only been in this house three months. All right? So they just bought this house, so they're probably not going to be looking at uh, selling it. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you filtered to auction. That may have been your first list you were working with. Yeah, that was the first list. Okay, sorry. So the MLS details, if you look on the MLS details, you'll see where it was sold and you'll see the day and you'll see how much it was sold for. So in this particular case, I can see how much they put down on the property. So property was 358. The equity they got in it is their down payment because they just bought the house, right? So their existing mortgages is 285. So this wouldn't be a list that we would go after. Um, again, I was just trying to give you guys some, some things here. Let's see. What was our quick list? What did we pick from? We picked, uh, what did we pick? Anybody remember? Lane. I don't know that you. Yeah, we ha you have to pick something to get started. I pick liens. Yes. Lean. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to have some type of lien. Let's see here. And we could go out and say, uh, what they have, they have, have an active lien. Let's look at that. See what that goes. Let's, has an active bankruptcy. Yeah. See, that took it down to 17 if we did bankruptcy. So we wouldn't want to take it down that far. Let's see. Has a divorce. Only two, so we wouldn't do that either. So we will probably go uh, with this and we might, uh, let's just look at one. Uh, Mr. Ray? Yes. Okay, what number are you looking at to tell where, it, where it's going down? What do you mean, what's going down? Like whenever you're, oh, right here? you're editing your list. Right oh, here. okay. 
it'll show you how many properties are in that list. And so, okay, thank you. So if I go back over here and I and I change something, let's say we want ownership. Let's say we just want out of state. See that changed to six. And if I go back and change that back, it says, but so if I did out of state, I'm narrowing it down too much. If I'm only looking for out of state owners, so I want to keep that in there. So it, again, it's, it, you can play with all this stuff and you can get the numbers down where it's reasonable, where you can manage it, right? Because we don't ever want to do a mailing uh, for that many people and we don't want to do calling to that many people, right? Unless we just want to be, I mean, you just want to use the shotgun approach. We want to be more focused on our approach. Anyway, we're getting close to the end. Any questions? Anybody got any questions on the homework? So everybody go out. Uh, and make you uh, make you at least one list and make and put your name in it so I know it's you. Okay, just make sure you got your name and you save that list over here. You make sure your name is in there. So, uh, so this is gonna be Lila list, and then you can put uh, liens, whatever, right? And then put the date that you did. It. All right, so everybody. Uh, Make a list so I can see your name. At least you went in there and you made a list. All right, we get, we're about ready to end this. Let's go to uh, the other homework. So you're gonna have two homeworks. Uh, you're gonna have to make a list. Those, that's for only the people that are platinum. The people that are premium, don't worry about it. It's the platinum people. My eight people are gonna make me a list. Now we also gotta go back and do the homework real quick. All right, so next week, Oh, in fact, next week I'm going to be off. I'm taking a break. All right. So we want, but you still got to do the homework. You're still going to have homework. Homework is still going to be due on Monday, uh, March the 15th. So here's your address 1805 Ballot Drive, Midwest City, 73130. So I just had this property recently appraised. I'm getting ready to refinance it. So I got a recent appraisal. So we're going to see how close we get to the appraiser that this did the appraiser, okay? It's a three-bed, two-bath, two-car, 1,600 square feet. Repairs are going to be 30000 That's exactly how much, I, how much repairs I put into this house. And uh, let's just assume we, we're going to, if we were going to sell it, we'd do our 10,000 10, uh, assignment fee. I'll leave this up here for a minute. So everybody can catch it. 1805 ballot, 30,000 in repairs, 10K in assignment fee. Any questions on anything we talked about tonight? Is there anything unique about the square footage for this one or is this accurate? Uh, it should be accurate. Should be accurate. Any other questions? Oh, y'all wore me out tonight. Can I um just email you for a copy of this tonight's class so I can rewatch it? Uh, so say again, Brittany. <laughs> I need to I need to watch this again. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. Right. I can uh I, I'm gonna save this tonight and then anybody that wants a copy of this, because I'm not gonna post it out there on YouTube. You send me a text and say, send me a, send me a copy of, the, of this one tonight and I'll send it to you. That way you can okay. go back through it. You can stop it. You can rewind it. Whole nine yards. That's a good way to make sure you don't miss anything. Is just ask me for the video and then I'll send it to you. Then you can just look at it at your leisure. Any other questions? All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you can turn your videos on. We're done for today. Hope, hopefully, uh, I didn't confuse you too bad. I think we finally got it figured out. But from here on out, uh, it's going to be more of a plug and play learning. My expectation is I'm, I'm, I'm looking for you all to help me figure out how to best use this tool. I've already figured out how I can do it for uh, for my pre foreclosures, I've shown you I've got three houses in, in the last two weeks. So 
Uh, I'm going to show you how I did that, but I want you to play with it and figure out how you can best use it for you. And then uh, we'll figure out together how we can make this, uh, how we can maximize our potential with everybody on here, helping each other learn how to use this tool. Does that make sense? So get in there and play with it. Uh, I actually, if you want to send out a few little cards, go ahead and send out some cards. I gave everybody $100 limit on everybody's got $100 limit. So when you run that limit up for this month, you're done. All right. So you got $100. If you want to send out a few cards, uh, but if you send out some cards and they call you back, you better know what to say, right? So if, if you want to send out some cards and you want to put my name on it and my telephone number, do that. And that way they'll come to me if you're, if you're not uh, sure about what you want to say to them. But if you just want to get used to sending out some cards, uh, and then next week I'll show you how to do the skip trace so that we can actually start doing some, uh, doing some calling. That makes sense. Yes. Okay. All right. I smell it. I smell some chicken. Y'all smell it? I smell it, baby. It's about to go down. All right. Uh, make sure you let me know if you want the video so you can go back through it so you know how to, to uh to create your list and if you still need some more information about um about chicken. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I love you guys and girls. We will see you. Okay, next Thursday, I'm out. I'm taking a break. So I won't, so we won't have class. Uh let's see, we will have class Monday, but then we won't have class next Thursday and the following Monday. So we'll have class Monday, then I'm taking a week off. All right. Need a little little, little relaxation, a little vacation, try to do a little something. Everybody good with that? Yep. All right. Everybody have a good evening. Love you. Talk to you later. Thanks, Let me know if you want the video.